the Cardinal District of Chapters of the Barbershop Harmony Society. Once known as the Indiana Kentucky District, it spans 70 years of great singing and great singers. Cardinal District singers come from all walks of life, all levels of talent and experience, and each and every one has a story to tell. Yeah, the singing is fun. I, I love to sing, I love the harmony, I love the tightness of the barbershop sound, um, but the people and the friendships, I wouldn't trade for the world. It's kind of like going to a new church for the first time. You don't know what to expect. You don't know if they're going to be standoffish, if they're going to be welcoming, if they're going to be too welcoming. Uh, you just don't know. I love it. It's a fantastic family that I've been welcomed into with open arms. And I was definitely the youngest one in there by about 50 years. And, uh, but, you know, it was great. I, you know, I kind of inherited 30 new grandpas, and um, so I get to hang out with them. It's not just a bunch of guys you get together with once a week and sing with. I mean, they actually care about each other. Uh, they care about each other's family. Uh, you know, I do more hugging on Monday nights than I do at a family reunion. They are the best bunch of guys ever. It's, it's almost like a brotherhood or something. They, um, we're all close, we all care about each other. I've had some, uh, gone through some stuff in life and um, that I've had some of the guys that's in the chorus that are really close, really close to me as friends. And that uh, friendship and love just become even greater during those rough times. The day of the surgery, um, besides the doctors and nurses and my wife, the next guy through the door was a barbershopper. Um, the day after that, uh, the first guy coming through the door with a big bouquet of flowers was another barbershopper. Um, that's what those guys mean to What thrills me is when it works, is when all of the parts are right there and you truly ring that chord. And that buzz starts to happen. That's what we live for. I just had these goosebumps running up and down my body when we'd hit a, when we'd ring a chord. And that's what I'd remembered from my younger years, you know. First time you ring a chord and the hair on your arm stands up, and you realize that you're hearing overtones. As Joe Lyle says, the angels are singing. It transcends you to some other realm. It takes you somewhere else. I mean, you feel that you have the community feel and you feel that you're creating something together with a bunch of other men. It, and, it, and it gets to my soul. There are songs that I sing and when we hit certain parts, I you know, have trouble staying focused because it's so beautiful, it kind of chokes me up. So for me, it just touches a part of my soul that nothing else touches. You always remember the first quartet you ever sang in, who was with you, what part they sang, and what song you sang. We got four Undertaker outfits, and we dressed up as Undertakers, and we called the Undertakers of Harmony. For eight years, we had more fun than you could ever imagine. It was pure comedy. Some of the dumbest stunts that have ever been perpetrated on an audience. My quartet, uh, they really are my best friends. We have so much fun together. We, we get along, the wives all get along. We go on retreats together. We are all best friends. We're like a family and we wouldn't give that up for the world. Courses are great. Championship courses are great. There's a great experience as doing all that. None of that is as much fun as singing in a quartet in your own living room, okay? And after you learn a song, you go find your wife and you make her come listen to you. And singing in a barbershop quartet is the greatest thing. Singing is life, you know, let's say, and I believe that. It affects your body, it affects your whole spirit. It's impossible to be mad at somebody and sing at the same time, I think, and especially when it's done so well. It puts your mind at ease. You, are, you, you come to a practice and you may be stressed out from the day's activities.
But when you get on the risers and you start warming up and then you start singing a song, you forget about those distractions in your life. We have a, a saying here in, in the Thoroughbreds that says, uh, we change lives. And I, I think we do that. And, and I know my life has been changed by just by experiencing barbershop. I feel like I'm probably ahead of the game when I'm in the morning traffic and I see people whipping in and out and they're in a hurry and they can't wait to get there and they're running behind and I'm listening to the baritone learning track. That's when I know we're, we're one up on the field. I like their sense of humor. Never thought they would be that humorous, but they have a good sense of humor. A grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, hey, I have a drink named after you. The grasshopper says, you have a drink named Murray? It happens to be dinner time uh, on the plane, and the flight attendant comes up and says, you know, John, would you like dinner? And he says, well, what are my options? And she says, yes or no. Or how many Kentuckians does it take to eat a possum? And the answer is two. One to eat the possum while the other one's watching for traffic. I carry my company's business cards and my quartet business cards, and I'm always pulling out my quartet business card first. How would you tell somebody about barbershopping? I would sing for them, and then I would show them that this is awesome and it's really fun. And because, you know, if, I, if I'm singing, a lot of people say, you really look like you're having fun singing. They grabbed uh, a, a baritone, a bass, and a tenor, and they stuck me in a quartet, and we sang My Wild Irish Rose, and they were testing, you know, to see how it would sound. And, um, and we got to the end of the song, and John turned to me, and he said, you're in. Even if we mentor someone now in their younger age, uh, you know, high school or shortly after high school or college, and they don't get active now, maybe in 20 years or in 50 years, you know, they'll come back. So uh, if they can just have the opportunity to have that experience, it's, it's usually, I, I think, for most people, it's going to be one that's never going to go away. It's like planting a tree, you know. We may be gone long after you know, we first plant the seeds, but future generations get to enjoy that. Um, it, it ensures a legacy and a love of learning and love of music long after we're gone. If I could win a medal, a bronze medal, at the international level, I would put it underneath my pillow and sleep with it. Every barber shopper has a story. You come for the sound, you stay for the fun. Every barber shopper has a story. And, you know, we have 30 different stories in 30 different areas, where, you know, but we all come together and we're one and we're a family and we're all there for one common purpose. Every barber shopper has a story. There are three things in my life, and they're all important. One of them is my wife, one of them is the church, and one of them is barbershop. Every barbershopper has a story. Heaven forbid you don't find barbershop, maybe you still have a song to sing, a song to share somewhere, somehow, but I'm sure glad it's here. I just love it. Uh, I just love it. Can I go back and sing with them now? Yes, you can. <laughs>